part of the award-winning rap group Migos shot and killed. The details still making their way into our newsroom as celebrities begin to express their condolences this morning. And with RSV cases rising across the country, Orange County is now sending out a major health alert. The advice one local doctor has for all parents this morning. But first, even news anchors play dress up. Yeah, we had some fun this weekend. This morning, we are still celebrating Halloween, showing off our costumes. Well, thanks for <laughs> staying with us at 6.30. I'm Rachel Brown. <laughs> I saw it so cute. Yeah. Uh, Leslie Sykes and John Gregory is off. Uh, and Leslie Lewis is doing work. Hey, you look great. Oh, I loved man. it. Hey, good morning, everybody. <laughs> We're waking up the day after Halloween. How's everybody feeling? <laughs> Hopefully you got out there, got to bed on time. We're listening temperatures today, about 62 degrees in a downtown Los Angeles. Do you have a candy hangover? I hope not. Are the kids, are you going to have to, yeah, I don't know what to, you just take all the candy that you have, the overflow candy, and bring it to the office. That's what you do, and you set it out. It'll go away. <laughs> downtown, 67. Inland Orange County, 67. Inland Empire Valley communities, just about 73 degrees today. It'll be sunny for inland spots, but you'll notice we have a huge drop in temperatures from yesterday. 10 or more degrees in most areas. Beaches, 65. Mountains, 50 degrees. And the high deserts will be around 68 today. We're in a rough listen. Take a look at traffic this morning. How's it going, Brianna? Good morning. It's been so tough overnight. You know, the day after a holiday and the night of a holiday are always bad out there. We had a lot of dangerous drivers. We had a lot of fatal accidents that happened overnight. The ones that happened overnight have cleared, but we have this fatality that happened, and unfortunately a pedestrian got hit here in the downtown LA area, and it is causing a big, big backup heading through downtown LA. This is a traffic alert we're expecting. Uh, so this happened on the 110 southbound, but to the transition to the 10 westbound. That transition to the 10 westbound is blocked off, and it's causing a major backup on that 10 west. They're hoping to have that reopen by about 7.30, but you never know with these. It could take a little while longer, and it's even affecting your commute uh, on the five northbound this is just typically such a tough spot anyway so just know it's even worse this morning leave very very early and try to avoid that whole area if you can and then we have this down in the commerce another accident that popped up this is on the five southbound and you can see it is just inching along pretty much from Boyle Heights all the way down to commerce it's all red and so uh, we have the number one lane that's blocked off there at Atlantic Boulevard so just a heads up this entire area from commerce up into the downtown LA spots to leave very very early you might want to consider taking some side streets as well while Washington's a good alternate. I'll send it back to you guys. Okay, Brianna, thank you. Breaking news in the entertainment world. A member of the award-winning rap group Migos was shot and killed this morning in Houston, Texas. According to Variety Takeoff, whose real name is Kirshnik Karibal, was killed in a bowling alley. Quavo, also a member of Migos, was there but was not hurt. Two other people were also shot and taken to the hospital. Takeoff started rapping with Quavo and Offset in 2008, and the three released their first mixtape as Migos in 2011. We will continue to follow this story throughout the morning. Orange County is declaring a public health emergency because of what it calls rapidly spreading viral infections. Eyewitness News Report Irene Cruz live in the newsroom with the details and big news from Pfizer. Irene. Rachel Leslie, many parents are concerned in Orange County this morning. The health officer says there are record numbers of pediatric hospitalizations and daily emergency room visits. Many of those cases are due to RSV. It's a common respiratory virus that creates cold-like symptoms, but the the CDC says RSV can be especially dangerous for newborns and the elderly. A proclamation of local emergency has been declared, which gives Orange County state and federal resources to combat the spread. Health officials are warning parents to look out for symptoms like rapid breathing, head bobbing, lips turning blue, or kids tugging at their rib cage. A local doctor we talked to this morning says younger children are more at risk for the respiratory illness. Their lungs aren't as developed as our older children's lungs are. And that's why we worry about these viruses and these inflammation affecting their lungs more so. And that's why they have the symptoms such as wheezing and breathing fast and respiratory distress. Scientists have been working for decades to find an RSV vaccine. And good news this morning from Pfizer, they may have a new vaccine approved by the end of the year. It would work by vaccinating a pregnant woman who then passes on protective antibodies to their infant. The study showed the vaccine was 82% effective within the first three months of an infant's life, then drops down to 69% within the first six months. So very, very promising.
promising news from Pfizer this morning, who says there are, quote, no safety concerns for any of the people who have participated in the study or their newborns. Live in the newsroom, Irene Cruz, ABC7 Eyewitness News. Irene, thank you very much. The LA City Council is set to meet in person today amid the City Hall racism scandal. And just like last week, protests are expected. Items on today's agenda include establishing an Office of Racial Equity and providing funding to expand rental assistance in certain areas. The Council is also expected to formally adopt the International Holocaust Remembrance of Remembrance Alliance's definition of anti-Semitism following the recent rise in anti-Semitic incidents in the area. Yesterday, Councilman Kevin DeLeon met with black leaders to discuss his future on the council following that leaked racist audio recording. You've already apologized, but we know apology is not enough. What are you going to do to 